Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How to Tutorials by Level Notion Studios. This is Super Sam once again, and in this very episode, I'm going to show you how you can edit your animation using the graph editor in Blender. Let's get started. So I have this simple scene of this character dancing, nothing too fancy, just going from left to right and doing some things. So if I want to change um, the animation on the torso and I feel like um, I want it a bit more subtle or more exaggerated, I wouldn't be able to do this manually because that would mean going through the frames one after the other. And of course, I don't want to do so because you can see I have about 1,620 frames already. That would be me wasting my time and effort going through um, 1,620 frames to edit uh, the motion of the torso. It's a big waste of time because I can decide to revert back to what I had before or try something new. And so it is not effective doing, that, doing so manually. Now, the most effective way to do this is using the graph editor, and that's why it's important for me to show you how to do so. So quickly, I want to um, select one of the actions for the dance. I'm going with uh, this one. And also, I'm going to change my... I'm going to change my graph editor, so I have the graph editor there. Now, this goes from let's see yeah i'm gonna see where the keyframe ends okay can you see that using the dope sheet go to the rig post mode and select the torso because we're interested in working on the torso so from the dope sheet i can see that my keyframe ends on frame is three and because this is a loop, I'm going to change my um, range end to 82 because 83 is the same keyframe as 81. And when I play this, this is what I have. Okay, so it's a loop. Now, my intention here is to make, uh, to exaggerate the torso motion. So I'm just going to go to the graph editor and alt H on height all the channel, right? And um, my workflow is when I'm interested in the Y channel, for example, I hide every other channel and, just, and then focus on um, the Y location channel. So I'm going to do the same thing here. But before I do so, I want to be sure uh, of the channel responsible for the up and down movement of the torso. The graph editor works using the um, the global space, so you should have that in mind. And to know the channel, the right channel for the up and down movements, what I do is I change to global space and I look at my widget. The blue color is for the Z axis, the red is for X and Y is the green. So the blue is pointing upwards and downwards. That means my uh, Z location would affect the up and down. So I'm just going to click on Z location, then I'm going to use the shortcut Shift H, which hides every other channel except the selected channel, which happens to be Z location in my case. So now that I have that, I'm going to select every uh, keyframe on, on that channel by punching on the A key, and then I'm going to use the period key on my number pad for the uh, keyboard to zoom in selected. And now that I have them selected and zoomed in, I also want to confirm in the graph editor if this channel is the right channel that I need to work with. So to do so, I'm just going to move it around by using G. Now when I use G, you can see it's going up and down and I can move randomly. So I'm just going to um, right click in order to cancel uh, um, the rough movement I just did. So. Now that I'm sure of the location, it's time to work. And it's so very simple, very easy to work with the graphic editor. 
Now, I want to exaggerate the movement a bit. But before I do so, I want you to see what's going on. You can see it's not so exaggerated, but now I need to exaggerate it. And I'm going to use the scale. To use scale, just punch on S on your keyboard. S. And I want to constrain the movement up and down. I don't want to go right or left. I just want up and down. So as soon as I uh, punch on S, I'm also going to punch on Y to constrain that to the vertical axis. And now I can slide either to the right or to the left. As you can see, the graph editor changes. So if you make it more exaggerated, you have something like this. And when it's cropped, you can see the character is going down some more and then going up a bit more. So when you play this, you have that. Now, if I'm to do this manually, I'm going to waste a lot of time going through uh, 1,600 something frames to do this. But with the graph editor, I can easily do so. So what if I decide to um, change the style? Maybe I don't like this and I want it very, very, very subtle, very simple. So S, Y, and just S, Y, and just pull in. Okay, I can see it's going crazy because I'm way zoomed out. So I'm going to cancel using the right click again and zoom in. So now S, Y, and then push in. Now everything acts normally. So I can zoom out to see what I have. And now when I play, it's so subtle. So I, uh, I used this as an example. You can also apply this same principle to any of the channels in here. So working with the graph editor, it's so simple and it helps you a great deal. And of course, you can also move the old keyframes up, GY, up or down, GY, down, all at once. And you have this. <laughs> this looks funny. Okay, so let me just add a bit of uh, skill to it to go up and down. So you have it. Um, this is what I'm going to call it a wrap. I hope you've learned one or two things from this video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. And until next time, no, before the next time, we have EY Multi Character version 2. I, I don't want to say anything about it. When it is ready, you guys will see the goodies that we have packed in that update. Very, very fantastic. I'm so excited to, to let you guys know that now it's available. But that's not yet on sale, but once it's on sale, we'll do well to let you guys know. And you can get this update on Blender Market or on our website. We also have another add-on called the Translational Work A that can also help uh, speed up your workflow in animation. You can also get that on our website or on Blender Market. The link will be dropped in the description below. Now I can tell you guys. Until next time, keep your creativity blending.